I'm John Biggs, and we're here at CES 2013 talking to Brian Lamb of Swivel. So Swivel, we talked about earlier this year. It was sort of a it's a device that follows you around as you walk as you walk around the room. So you basically set up a camera. You can record yourself giving a speech or, or doing different things. Right. The, the tagline we had for it was personal cameraman. And so it basically take away the task of framing up a subject. It brings a wireless mic and some remote controls. Uh, we launched that product around February of this year and had a good run rate with that. And now we're here to share uh, our new design of that, which is expanding some of the capability of the product. So this is the new remote, I suppose you could say. That's right. That's right. Uh, it's, so it's a, uh, a tracker that allows the motorized space to follow where you are wireless mic and remote control in one. Okay, and this is the new version. So how is this different from the older? Well, so the, the biggest difference is that it's now made to support more than just iPhones. So tablets, as you can see, featured in the product here. Uh, it also is made so that we can bring in DSLR cameras. So we've got different mounts that we can swap in and bring that product in on top of it. And really, the coolest change that we've made from an engineering standpoint is switch to a Bluetooth connection, okay. which means that not only can you connect to an iPad that's riding on top of it, but your iPad can, can now turn into a control interface for your camera. So you can steer and frame your camera, adjust settings, uh, and, and shoot a, a shot from a remote location. Okay. So you guys did some crowdfunding on this. What's the project looking like now? It's, uh, we've passed our goal successfully uh, last week. And so now we're uh, just in a period of trying to wrap it up, uh, collect the final feedback on it. We've gotten a really strong response from the photography community, and, and we're really happy with that. It's given us great feedback to figure out how to close our design specs and lock it for development. Uh, we had done this crowdfunding campaign at about 30-40% uh, of the way into the development of the new product so that we could get all that feedback and wrap it into the new version before it gets to market. So I think it's fascinating that you guys launched in, you launched the original version in February and now you're already ready to go for the second version. That's right. What's changed, I guess, in your industry and in being a product designer and, and developer, what's changed that's allowed you to essentially iterate so quickly? Well, so I think, I think a lot of it is crowdfunding because we view crowdfunding as more than just money. It's really a way to test out your design directions and, and figure out whether you're on the right track or not. We actually did our first version through crowdfunding as well, and that was kind of an aha moment for us, saying, hey, you can actually have an interactive dialogue with customers willing to put money into your project and learn a lot from that. And so, you know, in, in some ways we've moved fast, but in, some, in other ways this is just an early waypoint for us before the next six months to execute the product and get it to market. All right, so you're expecting this in, I guess, spring or, or summer of this We're aiming year. for June, July time frame to do first customer shipments right, of this version. Sure. How much are these things now? So we've got two versions. This is the high-end one. It's going to retail at 229 The lower-end one's going to be at 149 All right, perfect. Where can Great. people find out about it? Uh, you can check it out at newswivel.com, uh, or you can also find links to it from our original Swivel website. Swivel spelled without an E, so it's S W I V L dot com. All right, perfect. Great. Thanks a lot, Brian. Thank you. Okay, and then we just check.